fellow YouTube listeners that that uh, love my videos, all that stuff. So they say anyway. But oh yeah, anyway, yeah. I, I I'd watch them. They're probably working you, bud. It's like I got like. You know, 1,500 subscribers, but yet only eight people, you know, comment on my videos. When some people mm-hmm. just get thousands upon thousands of comments. But anyway, they were they they were making it sound like that you guys were like really being big bullies or something. Big, you know? big like, bullies. Like every oh, time yeah. I would, yeah, bully like, is such a buzzword like, like, these like, days. Okay, like like every time I would talk or whatever, like you guys would talk like right after I was just done talking, like even if I was talking about something, like when I was doing my segment last week, they were like. You know, those guys keep talking, you know, in front of your segment. You know, they don't let you finish what you were about ready to say. And I, I explained to him in the video, I said, that's how we do things around here. This is the experiment. This is a, a show that Glenn was telling me about doing here once the studio was remodeled and everything. We'll break their legs. And I was just like, I was waiting for this day. And I told Ben, you know, when I saw my Hugo's, I said, I haven't had so much fun on the radio in such a long time. This is what I needed, you know. <laughs> so to have this much fun and the, and for the YouTubers to think that you guys are being tell bullies, them to get a life, well, man. <laughs> Tell yeah, them to stop being losers and move is, out of their mom's house. This is the funny thing about this, you know. They, they these are the same ones that uh, give me crap about my videos, and they're like, you know, but yet they don't have videos on their channel, and these people are like mysterious. I don't even know who they are. Some I do, but I tell you, man, they're. Here. Haters, they they're, are the ones with the haters. They're little yeah. freaks to hang in their mom's basement with so a I don't computer. Know. I, I, I figure I wanted to address that situation anyway. Just, I mean, it, I know it doesn't matter. I know it's not that important. But I love you, Sugar Shown. It's just, you know, they don't know the history. They don't understand the They don't know the history between myself and the station. The they dynamic of what we do here on yeah, the show. Yeah, they don't know like, the history between Glenn Do they and have a microphone? <laughs> yeah. You they know. don't have a webcam. I brought that up and it was like, well, we can't afford one. What are you talking about? <laughs> You're supposed to entertain us, not yeah. us entertain there was you. There a webcam here at one point. Yeah, it, there, it was kind of it kind of went off and on. Though. The thing That's about the thing about YouTube is it used to be it's a social network now, almost like Facebook. It's not just about making videos. It's more a social network now. Anyway. So that's kind of the whole piece of pie there. Hey, her. YouTube is where I go to watch my old uh, <laughs> Freedom Rock commercial. And, and I got a lot a of <laughs> I got a lot of old videos that I you know from interviews that I streamed or that I put on there, and some people appreciate it. But I wish I get more feedback. But that who knows? I mean, with these streams that I put up on our show from our recording, it just for the ones who weren't able to tune in when we're live to hear us. Screw up a DDP interview. See, I followers. tell you, YouTube <laughs> is awesome, man, because, what, the other day when Halloween was around, I had to go on there and get my Mad Frank fix. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably before your time, man. Do you remember Mad Frank, Sugar Sean? I was a Mad Frank at one time, but that's, you know, no, neither here nor oh, there. Oh, man, that guy <laughs> put on the best locally produced, scary... Uh, Saturday night okay. uh, spooky movies. On uh, the old Fox days, uh, the real primitive days of Fox television, when it was more local. Yep. <laughs> they had a lot of time to fill on the local side. <laughs> yeah, and Miss Frizzy. And <laughs> yeah. What, was the, what was the name of the guy, in the, the, the one supposedly in the coffin? Uh, uh, Harvey. Yeah, Harvey. Harvey, I think it was Harvey. Yeah, I like that one. <laughs> They had like this scary movie or whatever about like vegetables or something like that. And that one dude in the coffin, he's like, Yeah, man, Frank, I don't like vegetables and they don't like me or something. You know, that was, you know, just off the wall. This guy was creative, man. I mean, it, actually, when I was a kid, I wrote into that show and I happened to have my letter read over the air. Oh, wow. And got a Mad Frank poster out of the deal. Oh, Pop that. That would make your day, man. Well, yeah. hey, hey, I remember going. It was uh, in, in Kennedy, Minnesota. I had like home and hobby show this year, every year long. You yeah. know, every once yeah. a year they had this spiel or whatever. And the big thing, this year, the big booking that year was Mad Frank. And, yeah, and we there was like a huge line going out of the building, <laughs> out of the building. I Kennedy. <laughs> Kennedy at the hot spot. Wow. Yeah, and when he walked in, he walked by, and I, his cape brushed against me. And I was like, oh, mama. Yeah. Yeah, that was like the greatest thing that ever happened to me at that point. That was that was better than anything. And I got an autograph, and he wrote my name, lowercase g in cursive. <laughs> Thought it was pretty badass. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. I don't know if uh, in the Glen archives, uh, if there's any of that 
still exist. Maybe I'll have to go to my folks here uh, for the holidays or something and see if I can see if they <laughs> saved uh, some of my precious mementos. The yeah. guy's still alive, I guess. He's got a MySpace page. Oh, who doesn't <laughs> nowadays? Huh? Uh, yeah. It was like 80, but uh, I, I wish Fox would bring that He back. actually looks like the makeup he puts on yeah. back in the day. Yeah. He squeezed in the character now. <laughs> there you go, Glenn. There's a p- another potential guest for you. That, I think people would like to hear that. The people want to hear Mad Frank, huh? Yeah. You know, maybe. Well, we'll, we'll have to go to the retirement home. Or <laughs> you got to dig that up, man. Next time you're floating around on the web, I'll watch some old that, Mad you know? Frank videos. 22 minutes after 8 o'clock. It's time for Sean's DVD <laughs> corner. Finally. And, okay. Yeah, and <laughs> hey. We run the show here. I no. know. Hey, yeah, hey, no, we're, we're, it's all good. Yeah, like I, I just wanted to do that. Right, we're, we're real bullish. No. Uh, we, got, we got a list here for November 23rd, 2010, and uh, we're going to give you some fair and equal time here. I see that you have uh, at the top of your list Beauty and the Beast <laughs> two-disc diamond edition. Is this the TV show with Linda Hamilton and that furry dude, Ron you Perlman? No, this is, this is not the t- <laughs> yeah, I think they've released all the ones for the TV show so far, I believe, anyway. Because I've seen them at Walmart anyway. Yeah, you can see them at you can see them at Sugar Sean's house later yeah, on yeah. in the Walmart dollar America. bin. <laughs> uh, no, this is uh, the the movie, the, the cartoon movie. They re-release it again on Blu-ray and DVD, like they haven't done that enough. Well, you know? it's gonna go back in the vaults and it'll never come back again until but 2012. I mean, okay, I mean, I I've never seen Beauty Beauty and the Beast, you know, in full. Okay, in its full entirety, and. I don't know. Maybe you know. Maybe it would be kind of a good movie to see, especially around this time of the year. You know, I don't know. Oh, duh. Is that is that a guy manly thing to oh, say? Oh man, that is like <laughs> the softest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> we might as well give you this music instead, get, while we go through the DVD hey, thing. That's fine. I, I like so, my eighties. So, Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> there we go. Because <laughs> you know what, the next movie I'm gonna I see on the list definitely qualifies. Eat, pray, love. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now this one, I, you know, it was just a list of what was coming out. You know, I have, I really have no idea who was in it and whatnot. I didn't really want. It did sound like a title that I really wanted to look into, so I just wrote the name of the movie. So you guys have to, you, you movie gurus out there. What's the synopsis, uh, Sean? A synopsis is like I don't know what the heck the movie is about, but it's not, with a weird title like that, I don't know. You're trying to stray the listeners wrong. They need to go to the DVD shelf and find it themselves. And they go, they, they you got to start working on that library pick of the week. Yeah, you know. Well, we're, we're, we're getting we're, we're getting we're, we're, we're <laughs> somewhere. I think maybe that you pray or love would probably be qualified probably. Maybe I don't. Know. Okay, we're looking at uh, I'm looking at the pillars of the earth. What's up with this? That's uh, another one that I just you know randomly just put on there. You you man, gynecological there. purposes? No, just it was okay. it was what Amazon had on the list and. I didn't have much time. I'll be honest. I didn't have much time to, you know, to go through what we were supposed to do and all that stuff. Nice, nice. But uh, uh, as Glenn's on the phone here, <laughs> uh, the next one that we're talking about is the. Ex- oh yeah. Yeah. So big releases out today on the Tuesday. Uh, no, the last one was the Expendables. That's that the biggest one, I believe. But, well, but Glenn has a guest here, I guess, so we're going to get out of this segment here. Sorry, folks, for uh, all you guys who want to know my picks of the week. We'll get to that next week, or if we have time, to learn tonight. We have a phone guest there with us here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, from VH1 Classics, that metal show, one of my favorite shows on Saturday night. Always, always have that on my DVR. Don Jameson. And we are... There Hello. Is. Hello. We're definitely having trouble with our phones tonight. Uh oh. Hello. Oh, we're looking at uh, some more is your trouble. mono button on over there. Buddy? Mono button's not on. Well, you got to turn your mono button on. Oh, hello. Hey. Yeah. Yes. There we go. Oh, we got to try this again. Our mono. Uh, we've been pushing buttons all night, and we're having trouble. We're trying to get our guest here. Maybe he'll call us back. Back to your uh, movies, Expendables. Yes, Expendables. Uh, that's the big one. That's the action one that came out here earlier this year uh, on the big screen. That's with Stone Cold Steve Austin, Sylvester Stallone, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Every big name action star that you can think of is in this movie from like the 80s, 90s up to today. Okay, that's awesome. Now you have a, for a pick of the week here, Scott Pilgrim versus the world. And I, I, I don't remember ever 